Hey, what is going on, you shrimpy shuckle? That's right, the Great Tusk is still here, and I definitely got some upgrades with Twilight Masquerade. Before we jump into it, though, if y'all are looking forward to Shroud of Fables and looking to pick up some products, pre-order them. Game Grid has got you covered. Go check them out, GameGridSLC.com. They got the Shrouded Fables products available, available for pre-order right now. Link, of course, will be in the description, and code AzulGG will get you a discount over there as well. All right, so... Great Tusk, for anyone who doesn't know, the land collapse attack for two, co two colorless energy. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If you played an ancient supporter card from your hand during this turn, discard three more cards in this way. Uh, one of the big upgrades to this deck, which I wasn't sure if it would work out as good as it did, but it did, is the Tatsugiri. So we used to run Comfy in here because it was nice to just kind of have a Pokemon that we could send up after our Great Tusk got knocked out and then get a little bit of value through some form of a draw support ability. And usually there's a Comfy in here with the two rescue board and we could use flower selecting and help us dig a little bit deeper into our deck. But now we have the attract customers, which can help us find the Asana's Vitality, which is the only supporter I play in here besides an Eerie. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but yeah, track customers in here now. Don't play Poke Gears anymore. Don't need them. The Tatsugiri gets us there. We do play two of them. We play a couple switch cards as well. So it is possible for us to use like two Tatsugiri in a turn or two throughout the game. Or even on like turn one, if we open Tatsugiri, we can go like Tatsugiri into Tatsugiri to help us find Asada for the following turn if we went first. Uh, we got the Radiant Grid Engine in here, of course, for some draw power, as well as a way to get our basic energy into the discard pile. For the Sana's Pidgeot V, we need to make sure we don't deck out. Because if we get to the end of the game, after we've fairly aggressively drawn through our deck and are using Sana's Vitality every single turn, we sometimes deck out before our opponent does. So being able to use the Pidgeot to constantly have at least one card in our deck is enough to make it so our opponent pretty much always decks out before us. And up next, we got three Pokemon that offer some unique win conditions. We got the Ogre Pony X with its ability to prevent all damage from attacks done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon that has any abilities. So this can become a win condition up against stuff like Charizard pretty aggressively. Mimikyu can kind of do the same thing. There's a decent amount of decks right now that only play EX attackers, stuff like Raging Bolt. And even though they do have stuff like Sandy Shocks, if we mill them first aggressively and then eventually flip over to using the Mimikyu, um, either they can board lock themselves out of the Sandy Shocks, or if we mill the Sandy Shocks and mill the recovery for it, then we can push a Mimikyu and kind of win the game from there. Same thing with the Mawile, the Tempting Trap. Aggressive with the mill first, if we get rid of all their switch conditions, or if we're up against something like Gardevoir, that generally only plays a Turo to move their Gardevoir. Sometimes two Turo, though. Once we've dealt with those, possibly through Mill, then we can win the game with that Tempting Trap. For the supporters, it's just for Sada. That's it. I've always hated Explorers in here. Absolutely hated it. Double Turbos, on the other hand, were kind of nice. But if we're going full Sada, I decided to play no Double Turbo Energy. But because I hate the Explorer so much, I tried to make it work without it. And honestly, it felt pretty good so far. I have no complaints, not missing the Explorers or the Double Turbos that much at all. Definitely feels pretty solid. Yeah, the Tatsugiri pulls a lot of weight, be able to consistently find those Sada's Vitality turn after turn after turn. Also have the one of Eerie in here to help limit our opponent's resources and win conditions to make us make it easier for us to be able to win games with stuff like Mawile or Mimikyu or stuff like that. So the Eerie is pretty sick in here as well for some alternate win conditions besides just milling our opponent out. Counter catchers help with that, of course, force our opponent to play the game a little bit more. Maybe we counter catch something up into the active, then we mill them, and then they can't move it without going to use a research or an Iona or something. Just make them play as many cards as possible. The counter catchers help with that. For Palpad, we don't have the Explorers in here, so we're pretty high on the Palpad count because we have to use Sada's Vitality every turn that we want to use Land Collapse for its full effect and get that four of mill. Uh, we want to aggressively get through our deck, find our important cards. We have four Earth and Vessel to find our energy and just thin out the deck, and four Trek and Choose as well. For the Pokemon Search cards, four Nest Ball in four Artisan. That's really the biggest hiccup I've had with the deck so far, and I've had with the deck in the past. It's just finding our Great Tusks can be pretty tough. So maxing out the Nest Ball, maxing out the Artisans. I could even still see like maybe playing some Great Balls or an Ultra Ball or two as well, go a little bit further to help us get our Pokemon, because it really is the... The hardest thing to do is to find our Pokemon. Two Super Rod. This I could also see going up to a third Super Rod, to be honest. I uh, definitely need at least two of them. But then when you prize one, things can get a little bit iffy if it takes a long time to find that first one. So I could see going up to three Super Rod. Two Switch Cards, like I mentioned. More ways to pivot our Tazugiri in and out. Two Rescue Board to go with that, of course. The one of Heavy Ball got a lot of important one of Pokemon. And prizing a Great Tusk is also pretty bad as well. So the Heavy Ball can help with that. Uh, one Hand Trimmer. Help us get a little bit 
extra cards from our opponent so usually what happens is our opponent sits there starts taking knockouts turn after turn after turn they build up a pretty big hand and then they play iono ionoing themselves down to one and shuffling all those other cards back into the deck but if we can hand trimmer them before they play the iono we can make them discard a couple cards so they put less cards back into their deck with that iono and then with two ancient booster capsules in here to boost the hp of the great tusk by a little bit not overly relevant uh could see increasing this count by a little bit maybe but most decks in the current format one hit ko the great tusk with or without an ancient booster capsule so a couple of them for situations if you go up against like charizard is nice but yeah you don't need it on every single great tusk one four seal stone we do play that pidgeot v that i can combo with and then the a spec in the deck is the survival brace honestly there's a couple different ones you can choose between depending on what are the most popular decks in the format there's a survival brace there is the hero's cape and then there's also the legacy energy and all of them try and basically do the same thing in this deck buy us a turn to get off another land collapse currently i think survival brace is probably the best of the three i feel like there's more temple of Sinnoh and enhanced hammer than vacuum and we're talking about cape versus brace the brace definitely seems better than the cape overall because you can't do so much damage that the brace isn't relevant whereas with the cape if they just do 240 or more damage they oh get over the hero's cape the other one that could be cool in here is unfair stamp because unfair stamp in the early game or even i guess towards the late game plus combo that with a counter catcher could be enough to buy us a turn as well or even more than that which is what we're trying to get out of the survival brace or the cape or the legacy energy so any of those three or any of those four could be pretty solid i haven't tested out the unfair stamp it would also be like a little bit extra consistency i guess to the deck overall when they take that first knockout in the game we can use unfair stamp on like turn two or turn one even theoretically so that might be worth it over the the other three there it'd be something worth trying out but if it's not if the unfair stamp is not better than one of the three then one of those three depending on the meta is the way to go i think and we got six fighting energy two psychic energy which allows us to attack with mimikyu potentially with the ghost eye and doesn't really screw up our energy uh, our energy placements throughout games too much we sometimes go for a giant tusk but because we only play two basic psychics it would never interfere with that uh, it could interfere with uh, ogre pawn ex i get or can't even interfere with ogre pawn ex's attack either to demolish so yeah two basic psychic for the pen potential to, to attack with mimikyu doesn't mess up any of our other energy and then the six fighting energy okay let's go ahead let's jump in some action and let's get millen is there anybody able to travel to, Hon to a Hong Kong event and play in it? I'm visiting family there in December, but not sure if I can play since I'm out of region. I'm pretty sure you can play. You just have to enter their lottery system. I talked to uh, some Chinese players recently on one of their streams, uh, and they made it sound like anyone can play in them. You just have to register. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. Up against Ancient Box here. I honestly have no idea about this matchup, but it's probably not terrible. Gotta mill him. Ooh, pretty good top deck. I don't want to draw energy. I probably should have left a psychic in the deck there. Uh, I could like mill an energy and hit a great tusk. I think just doing this is probably correct though. Um, I mean, if I can get to Greninja using Greninja here, would be pretty good. <clears throat> I don't mind them having access to this as long as I get access to it. So I'm going to throw it out there. Get myself, uh, I did prize a great tusk. Okay. Throw the Tatsu down. Attach. Hit him with some mill action. I wouldn't mind top decking Asada here. But if I do top deck Asada, I wouldn't want to play a Palpa. But I think I do just play this Palpa. Yeah, I don't mind top decking Asada here. Because especially if the Artisan sticks, then I can just go Artisan for a great tusk. And then Sada to both of them. <clears throat> so that's fine. You need Chinese cards for the Chinese major? I would imagine so, yeah. Chinese format is really odd right now, though. It is definitely it's definitely interesting. Well, they're going to bump my artisan. God damn it. I mean, I maybe can... I mean, I can... Gosh darn. I just want my artisan to take and play for two turns, man. Just give it to me for two turns. Come on. Yeah. I mean, Pokestop could still lead to a nest ball, I guess, but... Artisan was guaranteed a great tusk, which is what I wanted. Um, oh well. Oh well. Gotta deal with it, I guess. Maybe they just don't use it. Or maybe they just don't put it in play because they want to have access to the Artisan. But they never need access to the Artisan, so it doesn't even make any sense. Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, they do have enough. So cringe. 
There's no, there's no way they should use it, but... So annoying. <laughs> so annoying. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a sick top deck. Um, question is Greninja versus Great Tusk, and I'm leaning towards Greninja. It's just I just need to see more cards. I feel like now I think I stop, and then I pal pad if I get any Sadas. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty clean. Good cards. Triple items. Love to see it. Then we hit him with the concealed cards. And you know we're getting another Great Tusk here. It's got to be. It's got to happen. Give it to me. Ooh. This is going to be really sad if my Tatsugiri whiffs here, though. <laughs> like, this has been an insane draw up to this point. And now the question is, does Tatsugiri let me down? Bastard. Ah, let's get it. The only... The only... That is the only thing I could have happened. That would have been downer there a bummer i would like the rescue board here if possible so this gives me a great toast i get to check my prize cards so i know i always want to do it i mean the other tatsu actually is pretty decent as well oh well we're locked in on the great tusk So I'm milling four cards and they're like one, two, three, uh, five, six, seven. This could make a difference in them getting a knocker or not. So I think I should use it. Trying to catch this, make things a little bit more annoying on their end as well. Match, switch cart. Um, I am milling four cards, of course, so I'm kind of helping them, but yeah, there's two. So they only need four. They have four is still a decent amount, to be honest. Um, is there a United Wings de uh, deck in the Discord? Nope. Yo, appreciate the, the tier two sub there. Boat, welcome to the Rat Pack. Got all the luck, but we're all out of, you know, turtles. We can also like trap there, depending on what we mill. Wait, can't we just Mawile their Greninja? How does that work in this matchup? How's that gonna play out? How do they deal with that? Do they have a way to deal with that? Hmm. They play Penny usually, right? They usually have a Penny. They have a Penny in hand. Oh, do we see them put a Penny in their hand? Oh, they whiffed, okay. But also, I don't have a Sada. <laughs> um, and that whiff is huge, but I can't take advantage of it, really. Right, I'm going to go with this. Oh, there was nothing to get here, actually. Unless I want to get them all while. How many Palpat do I have left? Two. I don't really want to use a pal pad unless it's getting back to Sada at this point. I mean, getting Mawile here is like kind of fine, but then if I, I could Greninja into Nest Ball for Sealstone, I guess. So I probably just shouldn't use this Artisan and I shouldn't have used the Artisan in general, I guess. All right, well, concealed cards. Hope we hit a Sada, I guess. Oh my gosh. I'm just too good. I'm just too good. Chalk it up. I don't even want to... I just want to hold these energy, right? Yeah, I don't even want to use them. <clears throat> now I'll pal pad back double Sada. I don't remember how many counter catcher I have. But I think I can use another one here. Or maybe I should have waited. It's possible I should have waited like another turn. All right, Palpad gone is good. That's like a way to recover cards. One of their super rods is gone as well. Honestly, try to find a turn to Eerie them. Would have been good. Maybe like I should have gone like Eerie, Mawile. Um, ooh, okay. They're probably not putting it back in play. I'm assuming they're not putting it back in play. <laughs> their, their bench is just going to stay double roaring moon for the rest of the game. Okay. 
got rid of it just in case of invitation, I guess. I mean, I don't play it, but it's fair for them to play around it. Definitely fair for them to play around it. Okay, so I'm going to send up Tatsugiri, Greninja Way and Energy. But that's their second super out as well. So they can't recover any more cards. Uh, but I don't know if we're, are we on pace to actually deck them out? I'm about to hit them with the Clippers at some point, but the Clippers doesn't really matter, I don't think. Any flutes? No, no flutes. Playing like one flute maybe is worth it though, to be honest. Maybe I should play one flute just to have every possible cheese win condition. The brace is obviously gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna go concealed cards. Rid of an energy. Vessel Artisan at this point is probably fine. There's four Sadas in like a, what was it like a 16 card deck? Jeez. All right, if I whiff here, just going home. Yeah, whiff here would be insane. Okay. <clears throat> Super odd. Double dude and an energy. Get a dude. The brace, Sada, Rescue Board active, anybody else could love you like a lane collapsing. Hope they don't play vacuum, or if they do, hopefully they don't find it. I think we're on pace right now, though, with the brace, right? How many Sadas do I have left? I have plenty of Sadas to finish milling them out. Yeah, I think we're on pace right now. Wait, why are they doing this? What could this have, why is it? Why are they doing that? Why would they put cards in play? Okay, I don't know. I don't know why they're putting cards in play. All right, the boss on the Tatsu is pretty cringe. Wait, I thought I had my second super out in hand. Am I trolling? Why am I? Why did I think I had it in hand? I obviously don't have it in hand, but. Wait, what's left in my deck right now? Oh, it's prized, right? Second, wait. Okay, it is prized, okay. So we're out of tattoos for the rest of the game. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go, wait. Oh, I don't have an energy in the discard pile, okay. I don't wanna use concealed cards yet though. I want to go like the way I want to sequence this to go like this. Fail. Sada. Recover two Sada. Use concealed cards. Sada. Recover two Sada. I'm not even going to conceal cards though. I'm just going to put two Sada back and chill. Oh, wait. Is this on the bench bad? It's not good. <laughs> this one, because they could boss KO it, right? They're down boss. They're down boss pal pad. Uh, it's not worth the risk, right? I don't think it's worth the risk. I should have just held the nest ball then, so that way I could get it back out of the deck if I wanted to. Definitely, definitely, definitely trolled there. Pal pad, three Sada. That's right. They have their own. That is true. They have their own. I, I should have played around that more heavily, to be honest. I wasn't really playing around that. <sighs> they do play two pal pad as well. So we see that. And this could get weird. Let's see. Hmm. I don't really want to use concealed cards. So I actually think I'm just going to go attach retreat. And then Sada. Because I don't want to draw more cards. To then prompt. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to mill more cards to prompt um, <clears throat> getting milled by their great tusk. Sheesh. But if they have, a, they can just do it though, right? How can I stop them if they have it in hand? If they have the pieces, if they have their last Sada, how do I? I can't stop them from doing it, right? Well, no, I could go. How could I do this? Hang on. They're down. Double super rod. Double pal pad. If I go, don't play Sada, mill one, they draw, then mill four, I win, right? 
Because if I play Sada here, draw three, I lose. If they are able to go retreat, attach. Trimmer? Trimmer doesn't change anything though. I mean, I could just trimmer here, just to trimmer here, I guess. I go eerie hand trimmer, right? Okay, so eerie. They didn't have it, but they could have got it. They have the Sada. Actually, I don't know if they could have got it, to be honest. I mean, I, hand trimmer in them doesn't do anything here. Just collapse one. Yeah. Yes! Get his ass out of here. Get off Artisan. True. Actually, yeah, Artisan always finds it for him, right? They couldn't have milled that. It doesn't matter there, though. In this situation, it doesn't matter. Do we attack with the damage chest in case they attack with a flutter? Uh, I mean, the flutter. Oh, wait. The flutter does one hit KO. We should have, yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. It is weak. We are weak to psychic, but they, they can't set it up in one turn. So, like, it was never like a real threat. Got him. Get him out of here. Another dub for the great tusk. It's free. It's if we prize Greninja, uh, that's like the only thing that would like make this not cool. If we prize Greninja, that's the only thing. The only thing I'm scared of. Arceus Charizard. Shouldn't change anything. Man, I've not played against an Arceus Charizard in forever. That deck sucks. Alright, Greninja's there. I guess it's possible I get a Force Seal Stone off of... So I can go like this. This. It's possible I draw into the Force Seal Stone. So maybe I hold off on the... Um, I should have checked for Heavy Ball there. Okay. Nope. So I'm going to go... It is also possible though, like, okay, I'm just going to do this first. Cause if it doesn't get a Sada, then I'm going to want to get, all right, we've got the Sada, but there's only one psych energy in here anyways. Right? Yeah. I don't mind drawing into more basics here. Switch cart. Attach. Bench. I'll pad back the one Sada. I'll hold on to the nest ball though. I think, I think it's fine. There's chill on the nest ball. The whole Poke Squad there. <laughs> One of each. Send them packing. The boss was a good hit too, though. Or oh, the boss was like the best hit. But I want to get the. I don't want to be able to boss around my dual cards at some point. Ideally, avoid that. Ooh, okay. They're kind of all right. Chill out, chill out. They're kind of making place happen over there. Jeez, chill. All right, all right. Ogre Pond to the bench. Um, well, I want them to evolve this first, right? Because otherwise they're just going to power edge through my Ogre Pond. Although I guess I could attach to it. Oh, it doesn't apply weakness though. Yeah. But once they evolve this, I could bench Ogre Pond, right? Okay, there's the evolve. Oh, no, but they could still have canceling Cologne. Ugh. No, can't, there's nothing they have one hit KOs it though, right? Even if they have canceling Cologne, can they even get through this? How about that? Like, do I just win with this now? I could set up another one, maybe. They probably have ways around it. I'm just going to probably play it straight up. Good top deck. All right, Artisan. Max Belt, Max Belt, Cologne. I'm just going to assume they don't have Maximum Belt. What's no Charizard plays Maximum Belt right now? Now, if I whiff here. Okay, we did not whiff. In fact, we kind of hit the nuts. They probably play a vacuum. Maybe I try and mill the vacuum first. Um. Hmm. Well, if they vacuum this, they don't have the vacuum for the other things, the other tools, I guess. Seems fine. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I mill it as well. One time. No. Ooh. Got another boss, though. 
the boss, the Turo. Those are both good hits. Yeah, I'm assuming they play, so they will be able to just like vacuum this and get rid of it, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's whatever, I guess. Maybe they don't though, and they're just gonna have to punch through it, which would, that would be nice. Although I have no energy in my discard pile, so uh, yeah. Yeah, I assume they get the vacuum here. I mean, I will, we can go into Ogre Pond eventually. We'll have four prize cards left. They're down two boss though. They just have like no gust. The thing would be like, if do they play Palpad? That'd be a question. If they have Palpad, then they theoretically have plus two boss, which means they can get around the Ogre Pond a couple times. Um, I could theoretically run to the Ogre Pond right now just to kind of test what outs they have, to be honest. Yeah, I could run to the Ogre Pond right now. I could go Eerie Ogre Pond. Kind of down. I'm down for that, Eerie. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's got to be pretty good, right? That's pretty good. I'll recover the Eerie as well here. All right, no super odds. That's a lot. That's a big resource hit for sure. The choice belt's also gone, right? It is, yeah. All right, let's see if they can deal with this. <laughs> I don't know how, uh, it might not matter that much to be honest in the long run. We'll see, we'll see if it matters. It's definitely funny. Hmm. Okay, Mew will work, Mew will work. You can't do it this turn. They will be able to copy Demolish, okay. So that does it. We got to get this guy out of there. Get him out. Get him out. Retreat. I can also get through my Mimikyu. Okay. Mawile might be good eventually. It's actually awkward. I don't actually have... Okay. I don't have any other Great Tusks. Let's get rid of this. I need, uh, I need super rod. <laughs> yeah, I just need a super rod. Okay, thank goodness. And then super rod recover. Tusk and a fighting. Back to the mill. Back on the mill. Ooh, okay, what do we get rid of there? Three Ionos down? They probably don't have another Iono left. Let's go! <laughs> another... This doesn't matter, so I guess I can just go... Everything else is better. So yeah, get rid of this. I prize a fighting... Oops. A great tusk. A heavy balls here. Sada. want to set this up I said I saw you um uh, I might as well mm, no I'm not gonna let it get stuck in play I take it back I'm not gonna bench it actually I will pass I'm not gonna put this in play I could trap this with Mawile the only thing this thing can do is joust for 10. they do have Turo so we need to like deal with their Turo first theoretically um yeah we do need to deal with their turo first theoretically but once we deal with their turo then that could kind of that could happen maybe quick question i have all the cards for this deck irl last time i went to league i played a variant of it does it cook though uh no it does not cook okay a couple curlers on the way fine they're probably getting off a turn to attack here they could whiff it. They might have hit the energy or something. Is there a way to deal with Turo besides Mawile? Uh, no. Although, I mean, Mawile doesn't deal with Turo, but we need to, we need Turo to be dealt with before we Mawile. But we could, like, back-to-back -back Mawile as well. 
Uh, I can't use any basics abilities anyway, so I'd rather just draw into more basics. Grab this. I'm just gonna set up as much as possible, to be honest. Grab this. Oh, no, no, no. grab this. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this as well. Although I do have the, I did have the four seal stone combo there. Maybe I should have tried to use two Sada before using that pal pad. That, that was like reasonable, I guess. To try and get the second Sada off. <laughs> melodic stops Turo. Oh, I guess if we really wanted to stop Turo, we could play Melodic, yeah. Oh, what? No, the Hex Hurdle is killer. It shuts off my Tatsugiri. I was even counter catcher around it and use it. This is actually the attacker though. Like this guy is this is the guy right here. Honestly, if you if they could just set up if you could set up double flutter main, guru, or monkey dory, whatever. That would be like that'd be like impossible to beat. Or double Guardi EX, Monkey Dory. So that way you like load up two energy on Guardi EX every single turn and retreat between them or something. Um, hmm. But yeah, this guy's annoying. Then when I send up my Tatsugiri. But they only have three energy. So if I bring up Guardi here, they might actually not. If I, I'm going to counter catch a Guardi up here, they might actually not be able to. Um. Or treat it on the next turn. They might get stuck for a turn, which would be sick. That's kind of what we need, to be honest. That's kind of what we want. Oh, they're putting damage here. Okay. I don't know why they're doing that. I guess it preemptively breaks survival brace. Sure. Counter catcher the curly would be better. Um, it's kind of the same thing. They just need two energy. I don't think it makes a difference, to be honest. Like the same thing. Okay, I'm going to conceal cards first. And the artisan's clogging it up. Oh, I have to counter catch it first. Yeah, is it like the same thing? You got me like second guessing myself now, but it is the same thing, right? Two energy, two energy, same thing. They get back to the flutter main, flutter main attacks. For sure. They can attack the Curlia. The point it doesn't matter if they, if the if the cur, if the guardi ex can attack the curly can retreat this is literally the exact same thing gotta give me another reason gotta give me a better reason i just hate guardi so i'm trying to trap the guardi in the active my hatred for guardi runs strong runs deep um i think yes actually i think i will take that I can attach retreat now, right? Yeah. I want to keep my switch cards around to do like some healing shenanigans, potentially. And the flutter main damage. All right, no psychic energy mill. Double vessel gone as well. They might not be able to find double psychic energy on this turn. Um, so we get like an extra turn to work with. Capsules will make flutter main two shot tusks. Yes, they will. That is true. If we can find some. We will see. All right, whiff one time. That's a discard. They discarded. They're down to Ultra Ball as well. So out of Ultra Ball, out of Vessels. This is their way to find energy. This is one of their ways to discard energy. They might be able to gain a turn here. Turo does just reset this and then they get access to it again. But God damn it. Oh, wait, hold up. That's their Turo though. Oh, wait, they messed it up though. You're supposed to turn with the Flutter Main and then attack with the Guardi, so you can access the energy again. Wait, no, it's like the same thing though, because then I could bring up the Curlia. But we could just bring up the Curlia now again and could trap it. But they just use Turo. We don't have to go for the Mawile Countercatcher play yet though. We can still wait like a turn or so. But we can bring up the Guardi now again. We just bring up the Guardi and then trap the Guardi in the active again. And then eventually, now that the Turo is gone, we can eventually go into the Mawile play. 
Ooh, they're still, why are they still digging here? I guess maybe they realize they need more options for the next turn, like more energy or whatever. Also like Iono and me would be pretty good to be honest. Not bad, would not be a bad play. I don't know how many counter catcher I prized. I could send this up and then switch card it to remove the two damage. That's probably the correct play, right? Send this up, switch card into the Tatsu. Okay, I think I like that. Oh no, I can't even use Tatsu here. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna go Star Alchemy. I want Super Rod though. I th oh, I priced a Super Rod as well. Oof. Did I price Heavy Ball? No, Heavy Ball's there. If I wanna get two Great Tusk back, I'm gonna use this. Double Tusk Energy. I think this makes the most sense. Uh, does the Ogre Pond actually ever do anything? Their ability shuts off my ability. I could stall with it, I guess. I can seal some cards. I can choose. Yes. It was a Mawile even in the deck. Honestly, I'm just going to do this as well. I just want to thin out these these dead cards here. Like getting back to the... I need, I need, to, I need to find Palpat and stuff here. Okay, so I can go switch cart into Tatsu. Counter catcher. This. Those customers. Race. Ooh. Land collapse. Mill the boss. Oh, we did mill an energy there. That's kind of unfortunate. I forgot that that was going to be something we're trying to dodge. <laughs> oh, this one seems close. It seems close. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the dub here. Oh, all right. They got out of it. Damn. Never lucky. Three games in a row that Geary hasn't hit shit. What do you mean? We just hit the... What? Dude, someone time out Akko. Akko's just a hater, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy hater energy from Akko today. It's actually kind of absurd. It's uncalled for. Okay, when do I go in with the Mawile now? They have 13 cards left in deck. Three Ionos. So, like, the 10 damage from Joust is, like, enough currently to, like, eventually get through my... They're bossing this one. Interesting. Oh, because like they set up the damage. So they KO this and set up two damage here. Okay, makes sense. I do have another switch card to heal that damage off. Then I don't heal. <sighs> no, I guess it does like technically buy me a turn, right? How many super rod have they used? Zero. I think I just have to hold out as long as I possibly can before I go into the go into the play. This basically has to be the plan here for the Maw Wild play. I just have to hold out as long as I possibly can. I should counter catch her left. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that. I don't wanna use. I wanna try and save the counter catcher at this point, I think. Yeah, because they can just like retreat again, so it doesn't really matter as much. I'm gonna do this over these two. Asada into Asada here is decent. I use my. I have used it. Okay. All right. Sada. Just one energy. Uh, I might can put another energy there. It doesn't seem bad too. Switch cart into this. Okay. So I have one counter catcher left. All right, but I need to save energy for the Mawile as well. This is tough now. Four, five, six, seven. I think I'll save the counter catcher because I could still top deck here. Put this in play. I think I could put this in play as well somewhere. Uh, that might be a mistake though. Maybe I'll just hold on to that.
Oh, wait, no, maybe I should have gone for it. Well, I could like... Well, this next turn, maybe I go Eerie plus Land Clash for one. Yeah, maybe I'd do that. I don't know. <clears throat> they set up Monkey Dory at this point. They're down one Dark Energy. They could... Ugh. Honestly, having a Penny would be kind of nice. Uh, here it comes. Monkey Dory play. Cringe. Oh, there's a super odd. Maybe I should have Eerie this turn instead of... Yeah, I could have Eerie this turn. Eerie plus just mill one. And then Sada next turn, to be honest. That might have been the better play. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. All right. Well, we'll see. Iono as well. Pretty cringe, but whatever. It's an earlier Iono, I guess. They have, what, one Iono left? One Iono left. Okay, so it now my... I mean, my plan has to be mill four. But they can win through Monkey Dory by, like, killing my Tatsugiri, right? Yeah, they can always just win through Monkey Dory. Like, they can... Like, I can't even... I can't even think I can win now. <laughs> I don't even think I can win. Uh... Hmm. Because the Monkey Dory can always move enough damage off to KO my Tatsugiri or something, right? I need, like, a Radiant Serena. I don't even know. Alright, this needs Heavy Ball. I need Heavy Ball. I need Heavy Ball. Dude, where's my Heavy Ball? What the heck? Oh, I need the energy that's on the bottom of the deck as well. Whatever, we can, like, basically see our whole deck at this point anyways. Everything you see... Map, are you of disease? Or oh, maybe like somehow fake him out a little bit. Uh, there's like no real good play. Yeah, this the this guru puts on too much pressure towards the end here now. Too much. They're at a boss, right? Well, down, I mean, they could play two boss, but I'm not gonna play around a second boss. If they have it, they have it. I'm just gonna burn all of these. They just don't do anything anymore. Just in case they I don't know again this turn. Although I don't know how much that's gonna make a difference. Alright, land collapse. Nothing relevant. Yeah, the Dory the Dory does the work here for sure. It's kinda close, I guess. Like if I if I had just clippered more aggressively, maybe? Like if I imagine if I just done Eerie If I just use Eerie and Clippers more aggressively, maybe I do just win this. Like, I would have hit their super rod, which is my... Well, that means I'm not milling four on that turn, though. But Clippers would have got, like, two cards. If I had Clippers last turn and Eerie, that might have been better, to be honest. Oh, do they have boss? Second boss? Oh, wait. Okay, wait, hold up. Maybe there's a win condition here now. They messed up. They messed up. They messed up. They're not going for the... Um. <clears throat> They messed up a big time here, folks. They had to like start to pressure the Tatsugiri. Maybe they just don't see the play. Okay, so... I do need to get into the energy here, obviously. There's two energy in the deck though. Oh wait, was there a supporter? No, no, no. There was. They still have a Guardi EX. Let's just go after this thing every time, right? But they could have second turbo, I guess, but whatever. We're we're going. We're all in, baby. I just pal pad back both Sados, just because like top decking Sados good. Captain Trap. I should have. I should have used. Oh no, because I brought this thing up. I couldn't use any abilities. All right, chilling. Maybe chilling. Maybe chilling. Maybe chilling. Hopefully chilling. If 
Wait, do you mill out first because you can't bird cycle? No. I can eventually, I can still use land collapse. Nothing stopping me from using land collapse. As long as I top like Asada, but I do have to top like Asada. Well, that might have been a reason to actually tempting trap this. I could have brought this up. No, no, no they could have canned me. They could have canned me. Never mind. They could have canned me, yeah. Oh, the second super odd. Oh my gosh. Well, now I should just lose. I don't think I can beat second super odd. Yeah, I don't think I can beat second super odd here. That's too many cards now. If it didn't have that, if we had milled it, I mean, we seen something different there, to be honest. <clears throat> they can't adrenaline playing when Klefki isn't the active either. Oh, what the heck? I forgot about that. No, we do win. We do win because they can't use Adrena Brain! Oh, holy shit! Empty trap. We do win. We just eventually draw a Sada and then we win. The game's over. That's... Alright, let's get it. That's crazy. They, they literally can't Dory. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't realize that part of it at all. I didn't think about it starting off their side. I was just like, this thing does no damage to me. What are they digging for? Iono? That's the only thing that makes sense, but Iono still doesn't save them. The dub, the dub. Free dub. Dude, honestly, the, the tusk is just broken. Is it broken deck? Did I get an Iono there at the end? I did, okay. It doesn't matter if they find 